uh, you shouldn't think of the role of the coach as an individual and maybe as a group leader. You will find that what we see out there and when we travel and within our localized settings, all too often we see a whole bunch of guys that are quite excited in the game, they're interested in the game, but the application side of the game is not always there. So in terms of coaching education, what we do see is if you do maybe improve yourself a little bit this way or that way, whether it's an online course or whether it's attending a one-on-one -on -one course or maybe just following general knowledge that's coming up across all social media sites and you know, some of the local federations and international federations, you find that there is that little bit of an improvement that can happen purely from a knowledge perspective which you can help to transfer to the players, which kind of helps them to maybe have a better experience, overall experience with football itself as a craft, you know, as, as, as a game, you yeah. know, as, also as part of personal development. So there's quite a lot that we can bring in just from a coaching education in terms of the players understanding the team aspect yeah. of it, the personal development is very, very important as a soft or the softer side of broadway yeah. as well as the as well as the game itself uh, yeah. at the end of the day. So you'll find that that whole trilogy that GSA kind of work with, uh, with the game, the team, um, and, personal and personal development is quite a holistic framework that you can actually take and apply uh, in a localized setting just to help the guys have a better experience in football and overall just gives them a better opportunity of performing at the highest level there.